What do you think are some of the first steps we need to take in order to dismantle some of the shaming or controlling practices, like even the one you just talked about that we see going on with new and expectant mothers? Like, what do we need to do? What are the first steps that we take here? Oh, I mean, I think it is like we, there are steps that we can take, but there's also like the culture needs to change. You know, the idea that there is a, the idea that thinness and whiteness are the ultimate signs of beauty, like that's, I alone cannot, you and I together cannot change that. We can have a conversation around it and we can encourage people to start to undo that um, and to look around and realize, you know, like the average size of American women is actually like a size 16, I think, you know, I mean, it is not, um, that's one of those things where I'm like, I will talk about this all day long but it it. is not my responsibility to change the culture there's a lot of you know it's like there's in there's a whole health wellness beauty industries that need to um wake up to reality (laughs) yeah so yeah so i think that you know but and i think it can be really hard in a health setting even with someone like i said like i really like my doctor but it can be really hard to push back but i think it's just sit with that feeling and be like where is that coming from you know and i think it's worth reminding ourselves that like a body just like a person is never inherently a problem, right? Like it is this, it is kind of the junk and garbage that we accumulate that the messages that we get from society that tell us um, that make us feel bad about our bodies. There's nothing inherently good or bad about bodies, right? Like there's just, they just are, they keep us alive, you know, like they grow people like, I, I mean, I really just feel like in pregnancy, especially what we should be focusing on is everything your body is doing. It's growing a new, it, grow, it grew a new organ, a placenta to keep a fetus alive. It's um, circulating blood and oxygen and nourishment to a baby. It's growing a baby. You've got like twice as 50% more blood going through your body. Um, you're, it's like, amazing what it's doing and I think really focus instead of thinking about all of the things that like you don't want it to do this or you don't want it to get to this certain size how about just appreciating what it does um so I think you know really like reframing I think we're due in America for a major reframing of like everything (laughs) you know for how we see how we talk about bodies and especially how we talk about pregnant bodies and postpartum bodies you know um like I really it's I reject that idea of like bouncing back um, immediately after pregnancy. That's just not something that most people can attain. And you're just trying to figure out your new body. Um, your body has changed. How do we accept that? Um, and how do we also grieve like the bodies that we kind of lost or that we missed? Yeah.